Good day first of all travellers and welcome back. I'm back in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and in this video I'm going to show you around two fantastic places in the Chowkit area. Bazaar Bura Chowkit which is KL's largest wet market and also the best cheese naan. So if you're hungry, stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start off at Bazaar Baru Chow Kit, which is KL's largest wet market. A wet market, for your information, is basically a market in relation to anything fresh food. So meat, fish, fruit and vegetables, that sort of thing. So let's go and have a look around and see what we can find. So this is the fresh produce fruit and vegetable area and it is absolutely massive. I'm absolutely astounded how big it is. And you know, one of the things that I love about these sorts of places, I went to one very similar in Kyrgyzstan that was very similar to this. It's a great opportunity to mix with the locals, talk to the locals, find out about local produce, fruit and veg. This is called a jackfruit. I've never seen this before. One of the guys just told me what it's called, so hopefully I'm not wrong. It's massive. It looks very similar to a durian, um, but it's bigger and this is the guy preparing it right here very nice people and i think i'm going to go and try some it's 10 ringgit for a little tray of this jackfruit so let's go and see what it's like so the orange one is a regular version and this is honeydew very similar to melon so let's see what it's like this is jackfruit the texture is quite I can't really describe it. It's uh, kind of tough, but we'll, we'll see what it's like. Mm. Okay. Okay, it's quite nice. So, um, the texture is quite like a sort of hard fruit. Um, it's got a strange fitting on your tongue. But once you get chewing it, the sweetness comes out of it. So, um, I actually quite like these. They're nice. It's going to take some getting used to. Another great thing, particularly about the vegetable area, is the colours and the smells. So you have things like chilies, aubergines, banana leaf, yam, all those sorts of things that you would find in cooking in this area of the world. Also you've got spices, all sorts of stuff. So another great thing is that it's an awesome place for photography because of all the colours. You can get some great shots. Check out my Instagram if you would like to see some of those. The link is down in the description below. I think we should go on to the seafood area because lately I literally am obsessed with seafood since I went to Jimbaran Fish Market in Indonesia. So um, let's go have a look, see what we can find. So the seafood area is awesome as I expected. So you've got things like red snapper. Remember that from Indonesia? You've got crabs, you've got prawns, you've got squid. And it's interesting to see the fish still alive on some of the areas as you can see here um, yeah this is awesome if you want to get um, involved in local life in a bazaar like this this is the place to come we're gonna go and have a quick look at the meat before we move on to show you something absolutely awesome let's go every day a guy blow torching chicken wicked thing to see um, the meat area also again beef chicken all sorts of stuff and you know one thing about beef in Malaysia that I've noticed is that it's very much stopped very much um, well done or medium you don't really get rare beef um, from what I understand this is because in Malaysia 
uncooked beef, rare beef is seen as um, uncooked or unhealthy. So um, that's great for me because I like medium or well done beef. Let's move on, we're gonna go to summer to eat now. You hungry? Okay, I'm starving, so it's time for some food. Behind me is a place called RSMY Best Cheese Naan. Yes, that is the actual name. And I came here about a month ago with Thomas and Sheena from Chasing a Plate. Now, if by any chance you've been living under a rock for the last year and you don't know who they are, they do absolutely awesome off the scale food videos, particularly in Malaysia. A link to their channel is in the description below. Now, Indian restaurants in Malaysia, you will find them everywhere because Kuala Lumpur is an extremely diverse, city. The reason why there's a high population of Indian people in Malaysia is because back in the day when Malaya, as it was called then, it was a British colony, many Indian people from southern India, Tamil people, came to Malaysia to build railways basically and many people settled here. So as a result you have these absolutely awesome places to eat. So enough talking and history lesson, let's go have some food. Okay, so here's the menu. I'll show you a close-up right now. You know what, this place is great for someone on low to medium budget. Who am I kidding, I'm on a low budget. So today what I'm gonna get is Kima Parata, which is eight ringgit, Kima, which is 10 ringgit. And in terms of the naan, there are various options. So you can get a regular cheese naan, which is just six ringgit, and you can get an extra cheese one. So you get extra cheese naan for eight ringgit, yummy chicken cheese naan for 10 ringgit, which is totally awesome. In terms of drinks, you can get all sorts of things, such as coffee, i.e. coffee, mango lassi, which I think I'm gonna do, and if you're looking for a larger meal for more people, there are of course set meals in the middle of the menu down there. For example, chicken biryani. Who doesn't love chicken biryani? So um, I'm gonna order my food. Stay tuned and you'll see what it looks like. So the food is here. I'm so excited. Literally, I could explode right now, but I'm gonna eat the food first. So take a look at the food. So on the left here you have kima parata. Beautiful, basically full of meat, peas, and spices, that sort of thing. On the right you have the kima. Generally you'll just dip your naan or parara in that. Awesome. And of course at the top you do have the cheese naan. I'm gonna leave the cheese naan to the end. Now, I've got a story about kima parara and kima naan. I actually used to live with a Sikh family in London and they made the best kima parara and kima on the planet. Hello Parveen and uh, Ralph if you're watching. And kima, they generally made it with lamb, mince, peas and various spices like garam masala and turmeric. So. Let's go on with it. Beautiful. Let's dip it in some kima. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, no words. And oh my god, this is heavy. So yeah, look at the um, kima. You got the peas, the meat inside. This is heaven. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. So we're onto the cheese naan now. I've eaten about half of the parata. So um. Yeah, like I said, you can get the regular cheese or the extra cheese. I think that's less cheese in it than the last time I got it. Maybe I've got the normal cheese one by mistake, but who knows? So, yeah, let's dip in the kima. Gorgeous. Let's see if we can actually get a bit of the cheese effect. Look at the cheese. Oh, look at the cheese, man. Okay, I think I got the extra cheese one. Results. <laughs> I think I'm going to die from Indian overload. If I have some more um, kima parata. Mm. There are no words I can say about this. Beautiful. So I'm done. My plates are empty. Well and truly, you know what? Travel tip of the day. So um, if you're going to eat like a pig like me, wear some expandable shorts. It's a good job I lost a considerable amount of weight in Indonesia because my shorts now fit me again, thanks to Best Cheese Naan. Awesome. If you are in KL, make sure you come here because it is literally some of the best food I've ever Now there's a helicopter. <laughs> okay, I'm sufficiently full up now, which means it's time to bring this video to an end. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around this area of KL as I have. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment as well. Why not tell me about your trip to KL? And also, 
why not subscribe? You can hit the little subscribe button down there. And also, if you are traveling elsewhere in Asia, don't forget to check out my other playlists, including my Japan playlist and my China playlist. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.